hello friends good morning good afternoon good evening so this is about uh, you know uh, P pes university and it claims to be the number one university in uh, karnataka and uh, i have covered a lot of videos about this about the placements about the engineering courses in um, ps university and they have the median salary of uh, you know 7.5 lakh as per the nirf and uh, and the um, every salary is more than 9 lakhs as it says but this video's focus will be only purely towards the you know campus hostel and different facilities part of it infrastructure so they have the three state of art campuses in uh, bangalore and uh, the main campus is uh, located in outer ring road or it's called o outer orr campus and uh, banjankari third stage so that is the address and the email id of the college and if you see the campuses they have a ring road campus which is the main campus rr campus and the second one is ec campus which is electronic city and the third one is the hanumantanagar campus hn campus right so they offer good number of courses uh, uh, you know like you know around computer science uh, you know mechanical electronics electrical and others uh, and uh, you know on part of your uh, engineering program but apart from that they do have architecture design law pharmacy commerce and lot of other mba programs from the engineering standpoint right they do also accept the pe peset exam as well as the cet which is the karnataka cet exam right so in case you are going for engineering then uh, uh, you know do you have a two campus options one is the main campus ring road campus where ckct code is e009 and if you are going for electronic city campus then the kct code is e141 and both the colleges are SOF affiliated to ps university as it's a common placement which happens right so let's check the you know the campus tour for this with respect to infrastructure so So as you understood, they have a big, you know, acres of open grounds and uh, uh, you know amenities as part of their infrastructure in both the campuses. And uh, uh, they also have, you know, Medical Sciences College and Sepesit South Campus is now known as PSEC Campus, which I said. And uh, those are 25 lush green acres of, you know, area which is provided for the university. So as you understand, it has a good number of you know sports and the recreational facilities at both the campus of you know Electronic City as well as the the, the Ring Road campus, right? And it all maintained well maintained sports ground. So in terms of the sporting activity, they have multiple basketball courts, the first hill fort, uh, the cricket fields, and they have uh, basketball courts, you know, indoor also, and badminton courts, indoor badminton courts, indoor table tennis courts and uh, volleyball boards and uh, as well as there are free play areas where you can uh, got get other sports also so this section i'm specifically making for the new students so that they can be you know prepared for the uh, first day whether they are coming through PESET or the kcet exam so if you are coming through kcet exam then uh, you need to have an cet admission order your 10 plus 2 marks card right and the 10th uh, 10th mark sheets originals and uh, transfer certificates and the migration certificate so you see the original so they will keep your 10th and 12th mark sheet original so that you will not be uh, able to get it back in next two to three, three years right so original will be always with the college with respect to PES university or any other corner in Karnataka right it is all you know with the college and migration certificate you have to get if you are not a PU student and a copy of Aadhaar card is required tuition fee receipt is required 
four copies of color passports and then for reservation candidates who are coming through kct they will have to get the respective income certificate rural or the canada medium certificate or any type of sports uh, and the defense or the ncc quota they are claiming right so the same thing you have would have done already with the ka for um, verification purpose but the copy of those all things needs to be submitted with the college also right and apart from that two self-attested photocopies and the uh, anti-ragging affidavit is also required for students saying that they will not participate uh, in any such activity and then whatever you have provided a scanned copy or the originals you have to take a, a xerox or a scanned copy of that document so that it is it can be required at any stage in the future now i'll try to cover the hostel or the accommodation facilities which is uh, available to students across the campuses and uh, so first with the hostel uh, fees itself so there are multiple components of hostel fees first is the caution deposit refundable so 30000 rupees is refundable that you will get back uh, from the college that and um, room rent is 50000 so and uh, 50000 and the mess charges for 100 days is 15000 so they don't give yearly mess charges but for 100 days the 100 days it is 15000 rupees so you can assume that yeah, at least in 300 days you will be using the mess facility at least in a year right so if you are using for 300 days then your charges will be 45000 for mess uh, for one year and 50,000 is a room rent then there is an application fee which is 100,000 rupees and the total fee is 96,000 including caution deposit plus there will be mesh charges for additional 100 plus 100 days right so you can believe that it will be around 1.3 to 1.4 lakhs which you will have to spend total right as a hostel fee for one year and and also the facilities they have the facility of gym right so which provides for all the good number of equipments fitness treadmills and all right and uh, cross trainers and um, they have a good stretchable area and uh, cardio machines are also there so in case you want to avail the gym facilities it is available for, at the rate of 1200 rupees per year so this is applicable for full-time staff as well as the students right now coming to the ad social admission part of it you know a, a brief amount of information is available how the admission uh, you know in hostel happens so you'll have to contact the boys hostel office and uh, from there you you will be you know taking taken in the freshest area and common to, and then you will visit the rooms which are available in different blocks of the hostels right which are for the freshers and uh, then you can walk through that and if you are satisfied and desire to uh, take the hostel accommodation then you have to follow the number of steps which i I'm showing right now so basically you will have to you know uh, get introduced to, uh, to a local guardian lg and uh, your lg garden uh, lg or the local guardian with warden which will be assigned and um, to register and attend the briefing session or what will be the facilities are offered as well as the rules and regulations of the hostels and then you have to give the submission of field hostel application form along with the all the you know enclosures and i have mentioned the payment of the hostel fees details also so that you have to so it's basically you know you have to pay the hostel fees plus mess fees and any infrastructure like gym facilities which you are taking right and then uh, you uh, in case you have any other query this is the phone number and the admission office email id you can contact them at or they you can visit their main campus which is in the ring road at banshankari stage three you know so that's all i have to cover in respect to you know campus facility campus tour hostel and the other you know events which happens in the college which you have seen already thank you